we doing, everyone? My name is Michael Worden, and if you're new here, well, I gotta say, it's a pleasure to meet you. Now, in this vlog, or or weekly uh, uh, week by week vlog that I'm trying to do here, I decided to share why, if you saw on my Instagram page, uh, why my eyes were so stinking dilated the the little black the, the 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 little black section of my eyes which is called a pupil um why it was so dilated so i wanted to share that story with you guys all right so before i continue on with my story of of what of, of what happened last week i want to you know share where i'm at you know this time around i am at I believe this is called Hamilton College. And Hamilton College, and a little neat fact, I believe was the college that a very well-known famous uh, musician, singer, or whatever you want to call him, uh, Bruce Springsteen's daughter actually came to this college for God knows whatever she decided to study. But yeah, this is where I am now. It's pretty nice. They got a nice little, you know, they got some nice little pathways and trails to uh, walk on so yeah so pretty neat so in last week's vlog i remember i i kind of brought up the small little tidbit of the fact that i brought or our family brought our dog to the vet and because of everything that's kind of going on with her she's you know she's very old you know she, you know there's a lot going on with her we were all very worried that you know certain hard decisions were going to be made and I noticed that my eye vision was starting to get this funny, like, this weird, like, super bright, but, like, jagged, light-looking thing starting to happen. It would kind of form, like, in the shape of a C, and it would happen in both eyes. So I decided to bring it up to my parents. Um and let them know that you know i would like this to get looked at and see what's going on let's see is it is it benign which means it's not that big of a deal or or anything like that and um i was just you know you know curious and so after you know sharing my concern about you know like my my eye health and stuff my uh my mother, who's who's very good with this kind of stuff, said, well, let's get yourself set up with an appointment with the local ER, which I'm not going to bring up their name due to, due to what I'm about to say here. We'll get yourself set up, and we'll, we'll get you going, and, and then get yourself looked at. And I thought, okay, cool. You know, this place will be able to do what they can, look at me and stuff, and we'll be able to find, hopefully, an answer to the problem. You know, to why I'm seeing seeing this every once in a while. But keep in mind, like the situation I was super worried about last week, it happened. And then I remember a certain situation on Father's Day I tried taking care of and it happened. And it happened a few other times. So, the, you know, the next day comes and, you know, feeling happy and relieved and whatnot about, you know, the decision with the family dog and stuff. And, and also falling into the acceptance of I couldn't do the thing for my dad for Father's Day I um we decided to you know go in go into the hospital and the hospital is kind of asking me well excuse me sir uh, Mr. Orton what's going on here I go well I'm starting to see this funny C shape and stuff and you know hopefully I can get looked at so I go there I get called in the nurse is talking to me and she's like well what's going on and I go well I'm starting to see this like this like funny like C shape and I don't know what's going on and she goes well okay hold on a second so she decides to go to the doctor that's there which which was on a Sunday and she comes back and with this total concern and look she's like you got to get this looked at this might be what's called a retinal detachment and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It, you know, the way that she was sounding and talking, it was like totally concerning. She was like, 
like, you got to get this looked at now. Like, like it, and she just built this worry into me. And, like, knowing my mom, it built a worry in her, too. And I'm like, holy smokes, you know? So, if anything, doctors, if, depending on the doctor, and I guess it's depending on where, on where you go, they're pretty good at building up that, uh, that concerning feeling in you and make you want to, like, it makes you feel like, you know, the world is falling on you. But really... I end up being fine, but as I continue. Also, I also want to bring up the fact that this hot, that this doctor office was like, you need to get the, you know, you need to get this looked at now. And I'm like, hmm, you know, uh, it, it just had me worried. Like they thought, you know, for some odd reason that my eyes were falling out of my head. They had me thinking that like I was going to lose my vision within the next five minutes or tomorrow. But that really wasn't the case. So we decided to go home and thank God for my dad. He was like, whoa, he goes, we're, we're thinking about going straight to the ER, knowing that they may not be able to do anything for you right now. Spend your whole Sunday in the ER, maybe possibly come to find out that there's nothing wrong with you, yet they may not be able to get, give you a good, legit answer. Even then they might even still recommend you to go to another doctor like a retina surgeon to get a referral and yet you're going to still be hit with all this charge and yet you're going to waste your Sunday and I'm like man he brings up a really good point so in a funny sense I'm kind of happy I decided to wait it out that day and not actually go into an ER and get looked at and spend my whole Sunday in an emergency room so after having that discussion about you know a way about wasting my time and having having in a way nothing to be done was going to the ER and stuff, I decided obviously not to go. And um, my dad actually called a retina surgeon that's actually right around the corner from fr from where we live, you know, get, you know, finding a way to be able to get us in, you know, for possibly, you know, for possibly to be looked at for a retina detachment. And they said, you know, if anything can be done, we'll, we'll we'll give him, you know, you know, give me a call tomorrow about getting me in and stuff, and um, which had which which actually did happen, and I got the phone call and I called them. What actually when I was at work, and they said, you know, you, you know, if anything due to your situation, we want you in right away so that we can look at you and see what's going on. But you need to be here like ASAP, like right now. And I'm like, okay, you know, my work is based out of you know, it was based an hour away from where I live. And, and I go, are you guys going to be able to see me today? And they said, yes. And this retina surgeon is amazing. And um, I got in that Monday, which was last week, obviously. And they, you know, they, they looked at me. They asked me a bunch of questions. And as I'm sitting there and as I'm answering these questions, they, they, it really started making me feel better and they really I really started to feel like I really had nothing nothing too severe but I did end up hearing that if they did end up finding any signs of retina detachment that they were gonna operate on me right there and then which kind of had me a little spooked but I kind of knew based on based on the questions I was answering confidently to the to the nurse that was kind of getting the information on me, I kind of started feeling like I was okay. After I was being asked all these questions, the the nurse then did a few procedural things to me. And first she she they she put some some like eye numbing drops in my eyes. And thank God I have been told I'm not the only one that 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 deals with this. But when they kind of like start putting stuff in my eyes I get twitchy I don't like it it feels strange and it feels weird Blah. um I you know I, I went through it you know put some night they put eye numbing up so that they can push this little thing in, in, in into my eyeball to test my 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 retina pressure or something like that and then you know they did it on both eyes and they said your eye pressure is fine and they're really starting to figure out through these testing and through these questions that I was pretty much okay and um and and then the, the the girl was like, all right. She goes, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this eye dilation stuff in your eyes. And 
and I'm like, all right, and I'm like, so I'm like, what's gonna happen to my vision? Am I just gonna, is is my vision gonna 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 get so dark because my eyes are so dilated or something? And she didn't really answer me. She kind of just did it. She kind of just like, oh, uh, you know, your vision's gonna get a little weird, but not too bad. And I'm like, okay. So she puts it in, but I'm standing there for the first like five to ten minutes. I'm like, there's nothing really wrong with my eyes. I'm like, I'm not. You you said you put eye dilation stuff in my eyes, but I'm not noticing anything. Dare I tell you, one a few things that I recognized was first of all my the room they they, they have 100 percent control of the lights you know they, they can kind of control precisely how they want to dim the rooms the room was pretty dim and i did notice that the that the tvs were kind of blurry but like i'm like well that's nothing new usually tvs are pretty you know like it wasn't that bad i'm like i don't i don't notice anything right away and she goes, I told her, I told the nurse, I'm like, I don't understand, my eyes are not dilated. And she goes, okay, sir, Mr. Warden, you're all set to go sit in the, in the eye dilation room. And I'm like, what? She goes, yeah, she, she goes, she kind of just kind of like blew off my question a little bit. And she goes, yeah, you're all set. She goes, oh, trust me, it, your eyes are dilated. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> you know? So I, I go into the, I go into the, um, I go into the waiting room and I wait a little bit. And... I get called in to, to, to be sh have my head kind of shoved into this eye thing and look and they take this, these pictures and it, it's like this bright light across my, my, my eyes and I'm like, oh, and I'm like, and they're doing it for both the eyes and I'm like, whatever it was, that it wasn't totally comfortable, but whatever, they had to do what they had to do. And then of course I go back to this eye dilation waiting room and then and then I had to go into this like this eye sonogram room where they where they basically at certain points in my eyes they were taking pictures of my eyes of a sonogram. And of course that had its own fair fairness of fun. And I'm like, ugh, I'm like stop it, but it's weird. And at eventually I just opened up to the nurse and I'm like, nurse, you don't understand. I've been told that they put eye dilation drops in my eyes. But I don't know what's going on, but I also noticed when I tried staring at my phone, it was really stinking blurry, and I, and I couldn't see all that well, and it was kind of uncomfortable, and I just noticed certain, I noticed that like TV screens are, are like super bright in a way, and she goes, yeah, she goes, your eyes are completely dilated, there's a lot of light going into your room, and your eyes are trying to focus. And, and I'm like, oh, she goes, yeah, your eyes are dilated, I can see it, and I'm like, okay. So, eventually, I go through it, I get done, the eye surgeon sits me down, talks to me, he goes, what's going on? I go, I saw it this time, I saw this funny light here, and I saw it there. She goes, oh, okay. He goes, he goes, what's going on? And she goes, you have what's called an ocular migraine. And he goes, they are completely, they are, com they are completely benign. He goes, you're fine. She go, he goes, he goes, w once they come, they'll go. And he goes, it's safe, safe. It have, if it happens to you while you're driving, just pull over to your nearest exit or wherever, sit, rest, relax for a little bit until it goes away. He goes, it's completely fine. It's nothing harmful to you. And I'm like, okay, good. And so I remember when I got done, well, during that conversation with the surgeon, he goes, do not go to an ICER, do not go to an ER, do not go to urgent care, do not go to anything like that. He goes, if you got any eye issues, you come here. And I'm like, oh, okay. And and at that point, I knew I was in pretty good hands because I was worried. You know, I didn't, you never know. And, and, and if there's anything that you guys want to take from this, 100%. If there's anything of aspect of help, period, if you have any concerns... I would recommend getting it looked at. Um, do I put things on a higher order than some things? I do. Um, for some things, there, there, it's more of a personal, personal problems. Like whenever I have a toothache, I try to take care of that ASAP. If it has anything to do with your eyes, which are very important, period, you should probably get that looked at. 
I can't, I really can't imagine losing your vision. It's probably great. It's, it, it's probably not fun. Um, wait, did I say that right? Losing your vision sucks. And I feel like if there's anything that's going on with your vision, period, get that looked at. If there's anything going on with your hearing, get that looked at because you want to be able to hear things. Um, but, oh, uh, man, I'm stumbling over my words, but all aspects of health are important. But to me, I put, I put some, I put some aspects of health maybe a little bit more higher over some things because, you know, if something were to happen, I think you could probably deal with it depending on your situation. But, you know, I was happy I got it looked at and um, I'm happy I'm in, I'm in good health. And, um, but yeah, your eyes are super important to you. They, they are the, they're the, they are the very things that they give you the visual to, to whatever kinds of en entertainment that you have in life. And don't, don't take your eyes for granted. Get them, get them looked at if you got any kind of concern. I don't know what I was thinking when I said, I probably cut it out when I was saying that I put some aspects of health on it. I don't know. I, I'm just, you know, I, I'm super grateful that what I had going on was super benign. Yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video with what you saw. And, um, and, uh, on a better note, I am still working on my stop motion project, but, you know, I am just taking my time. I'm doing it when I feel like I want to. And, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a like, subscribe, and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, with that, I'm out of here. So, see ya!